Indian form of warfare did not lend itself to a siege activity. Indian warfare lent itself to, first of all, it was very individualized. So even if 40 warriors from a particular clan or village, whatever the, the, the designation might be, even if there's 40 warriors going on an attack, when that attack begins, they're all essentially going to be acting as free agents. And the idea of attacking a fort where you might say you have a chain of command that says, here are the five guys that go first, and they might be sacrificed so that the 30 people behind them could be successful. That's not going to be the way that Indians do business um, in a military sense. They are, each of them, looking, they're fighting for their own honor and for um, individual uh, uh, satisfaction, individual achievement. So if you could... Put yourself into a fort and hold out for a week or two, Indians are going to melt away. Um, they're just not going to, you know, they, they don't have artillery. Um, if they can't burn you out or if they don't think you're really on the edge of starvation, they're going to just leave and then they'll go find some other um, uh, settlement to harass or they'll come back another time.